hello and welcome to this video so today i have this a little usb power module which i uh, was using for my digital clock but uh, suddenly i figured out it has stopped working so uh, it's not actually uh, giving any output if i uh, plug in power to the input so i have already uh, shouldered a couple of wires and uh, if i just turn on the power even after uh, turning on the switch the led is not turning on and uh, i have tried with this usb power meter also in case the led has stopped working but there is actually no output so in this video i will be uh, trying to fix this module and i'm not sure whether i can uh, successfully do it or not so let's see what happens now if i take a closer look at the board i have the chip is actually cx8509 so i have searched in the internet for the data sheet of this chip and here i can see the uh, data sheet it's a, a monolithic synchronous buck regulator by i think four micro technology so this device is capable of handling uh, two amps of continuous output current and a wide input voltage of 4.75 to uh, 25 volts so it's uh, very very close to 5 volts and since it is a buck regulator so definitely we need a higher voltage now it also has a integrated uh, mosfet which, which uh, switches at a fixed frequency of 400 kilohertz so there are some uh, applications described in the data sheet and we have the uh, package information here so here is the typical application circuit of this chip now uh, here i can see the uh, pin 2 is input pin 7 is the enable pin which is connected with a 100k resistor then we have the ss pin which uh, if we see in the description we have the soft start control and uh, it has a capacitor of 0 0.1 microfarad we have our ground pin then we have a comp pin which is uh, basically compensation node and uh, it is uh, used to uh, compensate the regulation control loop so there is a rc uh, network 3.9 nanofarad capacitor with a 6.8 kilo ohm resistor and uh, this is in turn connected to uh, ground then we have the feedback control uh, connection at pin 5 so uh, feedback senses the output voltage to regulate the voltage drive if we with a resistive uh, voltage divider from the output voltage the feedback threshold is 0 0.925 volt so we should be getting 0 0.925 volt at uh, this pin 5 then we have the uh, switch pin which is uh, basically the output pin so here we have a inductor of 4 amp and 10 micro henry and uh, it is in turn connected to pin 1 which is the uh, which is named as bs or it is the high side gate drive boost input so it's basically uh, kind of a bootstrapping going inside the chip so uh, that's basically the pin description and uh, typical application circuit so now i will be uh, testing the voltage and uh, the uh, voltage values with the uh, data sheet which are uh, given in the data sheet so i will first turn on my bench power supply and set it to 50 milliamps so i will just test the pin 2 first which is the uh, input and it's 11.95 that's absolutely correct then uh, i will check the 
feedback pin which is pin 5 whether we are getting 0 0.95 volts or not and at pin 5 we have 0 volts so uh, there is basically no output going on then uh, next i will be checking the enable pin which is uh, pin 7 i guess so there should be a 100k resistor between the uh, positive and uh, the uh, pin 7 so practically we will be getting 12 volts but here i can see the enable pin has no voltage it's basically zero volts 0 0.1 millivolts now i will check the uh, resistor whether the resistor 100k resistor is connected properly or not so that resistor was practically between the uh, positive rail and uh, pin 7 so if i just connect it you can see it's basically open circuit yeah so between the positive and pin 7 the uh, enable pin is basically open circuited so i will have to find which resistor is basically uh, connected to pin 7 and i think i found the uh, problem if i'm not wrong then that 100k resistor is uh, probably either a uh, poorly soldered or uh, uh, it could have uh, blown off for some reason so i will just uh, turn off the power supply so for testing i have a 220k resistor so i will just connect this resistor between the positive and uh, pin 7 to see whether it turns on or not so if i just bend the wires i think there is nothing going on so let's change the switch position and try and yeah the blue led has came on so i can turn off the switch but when i turn it back on it's not turning on so if i just okay so i need to connect the uh, resistor to the pin 7 then only it will turn on so if i just keep it connected and turn off the power supply and it switches off then it again switches on so i think the uh, resistor is the faulty one so i have to find that resistor so here is my uh, shouldering iron heated up and uh, i am planning to use this uh, resistor to connect between the uh, pin 2 and uh, pin 7 so i will just put a small blob of shoulder so let me clean the tip and into the pin two also. Now uh, I will also tin this resistor as well so that uh, it should not make any problem so here is my resistor ready to put the problem is actually i can't see it properly with the uh, camera on my overhead it appears to me that 
it's connected in the camera i think it's not properly visible so let me just zoom in a little bit so here you can see the joint to pin 2 and on the other side it is connected to pin 7 it's connected to pin 7 so uh, let's just test the output and i will just put my soldering iron away so i will just connect the uh, input wires and then i think it is in on position so let's turn the power supply on and yeah it's turned on so now it's working properly let's check the voltage with the multimeter so we'll just check whether it's giving proper output or not and yeah 5.25 which is acceptable and if i just test with my uh, usb meter so i will just connect this to this meter and yeah it's working fine if i just turn off and turn on to see whether it's working yeah it's working fine so uh, let's connect a load to this it's drawing around 140 milliamps and it's working perfectly fine so somehow i have managed to fix this uh, usb power supply but the problem is that i have to use with this uh, resistor and uh, this should not fall apart although i have shouldered properly but uh, not sure how long it's going to stay there so anyway that's all for this uh, video if you enjoyed this video uh, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel i have uh, plenty of videos on uh, electronics so you can check out that and uh, i will see you in my next video